Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to VFG Movie Reviews with your host, Tim Williams. How's it going, guys? Welcome to VFG Movie Reviews, and this is my review, my show review for Last of Us, Episode 7, Left Behind, where we explored the backstory of Ellie and Riley my goodness this was such a great episode there was so much to showing the love that they had for each other in this and what it meant to find love in this chaotic monstrous world that they live in uh it opens with uh her trying to help joel because he he was stabbed with the broken baseball bat and now Ellie is trying to save Joel's life and having this flashback and let me tell you I've been really back and forth on uh Bella Ramsey as Ellie I'm not going to say that she was the best casting for this role but this episode just made it amazing it shows the range of what she can do the emotional range the back and forth everything and it's brilliant and it's beautiful we have storm reed playing riley and it's so good storm reed she recently appeared she recently starred in the movie missing and I loved her in that, and I love her in this show. She's brilliant playing Riley. This is all based off the DLC uh, that they did want in the game, but narratively it would have made the game a little bit too long, you know what I'm saying? So they put it in DLC, and it's basically Riley's going to leave. She joined the Firefly, she's going to leave, so she gets Ellie... She wants to give Ellie one great night in this mall and show her all the cool stuff that the mall has to offer and pretty much tell her goodbye. And it all breaks down. They have this beautiful night, but they end up getting attacked by a clicker and they both get bit. This is where you find out Ellie can't be turned and they have a beautiful moment after Ellie kind of loses her shit and breaks a whole bunch of shit, it's kind of funny. It's Storm uh, Riley sitting there, and she's like, well, there's some more stuff over there if you'd like to break it. And she basically puts down the two options of what they're going to do. They can either kill themselves, but she's not hip to that one, or she can just sit there, hold each other's hands, and lose their minds. And it's... It's it's such a beautiful thing, and I, I know because I'm I'm into the internet and I'm into these shows and I'm reading posts on Twitter and everything else that a lot of people don't like the LGBT uh, elements to this. All I have to say is that these people exist. It's okay to tell these stories. It's okay for people to be who they are. We need to stop telling people you're not allowed to be who you are. If you're not hurting somebody, spouting dangerous rhetoric, or anything else, nobody should tell you who you are allowed and who you are not allowed to be. Plain and simple. It's the only soapbox I'm going to get on And 100% you should believe that. I love this episode. And it's such an amazing, poignant episode. And we got two more episodes left. Can't wait to see where it goes. I mean, we know where it goes. But I can't wait to see. Thank you guys for watching this review. And I appreciate you guys. Thank you so very much. And I will see you in our next show review.